Hello, everyone. My name is Xin Zhao, and this is my group member Xinling Liu. And、uh, we are introduced to our project about flexible urban modeling. First is the content. We are introduced about present study site analysis, future vision, and urban strategy, and also the urban design modeling. The first part is the present study. With our present study is plugged in city、uh, between 1916 and 1970. Archigram created over、uh, 900 drawings, among them the plan for the plugged in city by Peter Cook. This provocative project suggests a hypothetical fancy city containing modular residential units that plug into a central infrastructure mega machine. And then we introduce about the site analysis. First one, the circulation analysis. The Simon Street and Plummer Street cross over the site and the West Ticket. Highway along the site, which provide the accessible, and also with the green space links. Green space links provide the green system for this area, which can consider about create green garden or green corridor for future development. And then the building typology, typology analysis, the different building. Typologies in railway, which indicate the building risk and showing the different potential uses. The land use analysis showing the site has potential for residential and commercial area. And the future challenge by 2050, it will be、uh, it will be home to a pro approximately eight eight hundred. Eighteen thousand residents and provide employment for up to for for up to eighty、uh, thousand people. The transformation for Fishman's Bend is guided by the Fishman's Bend framework, a plan for parks, schools, roads, transport, and community facilities and a service to ensure livability as a、uh, precedent grows over the next thirty years. And then a、uh, future vision and urban strategies. First is the future city version. As time passes and uh, uh, society grows, the populations in cities increase and the land area become scarce.、Uh, scare. Cities and buildings also expand and、uh, rebuild over time. If we assume that the buildings which With different functions are different plugins, and the city is a program, and the population is the user who uses the program. When this program does not meet the needs for the users, we plug in different types of plugins into the program to achieve the improvement of the program and meet the needs of the users. At the same time, each plugin. Uh, consists of a fixed modular, and when a component of the plugin fails or does not meet the needs of the program, this can be replaced and grow. Therefore, applying this principle to the city, we can consider all the three different building functions of residential buildings, commercial buildings, and the public buildings as three different building forms, combined with the site analysis, different archi. Plugging are inserted in different locations of the urban area, and the modular are transferred and placed and replaced by elevated pipes, forming a new integrated network to explore the possibility of explored space. Well. While adapting to the、uh, future population expansion of the city and meet the scarcity of land, and the urban strategy, first one is accessibility,、uh, a local central with a mixed use, which consider about the dedicated out. Outward from Simon Street, and then、uh, it's a potential of hybrid tower area.、Uh, it's、uh, for the tower is dedicated to surrounding the living area, and then the potential of、uh, living views. People at the high level can see the beautiful views of the Morven. Potential of the residential areas provides more、uh, residential opportunities for future expand expanding population expansion. 
and then the urban strategy for the future versions create this one is creating of a new com community hurt uh, commercial and the people life circles around the center of the same street by linking commences residential and living together is provide conveniences for residents fast past urban life which provide more potential for future urban expansion in terms of residential and uh, economic development. So thanks, Jingyi. So we, I, based on the Jingyi site analysis, I think uh, it has a big potential to create uh, diverse functions between the Zoom uh, residential zoom and industry zoom so such as for the private space we build more residential zoom to face the future of population enhance and also we think about some industry like the uh, modular making and uh, like the and the warehouse to think about the modular goods uh, storage and also we think about to pre provide more diverse uh, employment and education opportunities so we think about office building and also like the um, arts and design centers here and uh, for the shared space we think uh, some higher quantities public space in addition to keep the original park and the reserve here uh, we build more gardens in the buildings such as sunning gardens to uh, satisfy the needs of residents and also provide the shelters for flora and fauna and the uh, commercial is also important uh, it can in addition to satisfy the needs of residents and also can provide some uh, deal of the uh, modular goods and the uh, it's significant for local culture and industry heritage so we built some galleries and the cultural facilities to uh, to attract the waiters to here and uh, we also keep the ground transport and also we inspired from the plug-in city to build some modular transport and uh, the people movement through the pipe transport here uh, for this page we is use the plan to do the functions uh, based on the site analysis. As you can see, uh, this plan divides into four main parts. We keep the original green space the, uh, and uh, also for the part near the industry rail, uh, industry zoom is in the upper um, upper here. So for that, you can say it's think about like modular tower with the industry of the modular good making and also modular good um, storage here. And for the southwest, we think about <coughs> cultural art design center and some higher qualities residential zone because of there have a uh, beautiful skyline and also with the beautiful landscape here. So it have a big potential to people can enjoy here and for the central part it can be uh, the business part so think about some high density residential zoom and also with like the business functions here so it have office building and commercial here and for the loss is it's close to the reserve so we put more green space in the building here and also think about higher quality residential zoom here people can in the scaled green space and uh, enjoy the beautiful view here and then i will talk about the urban design modernists we did this is our perspective view as you can see this uh, site is uh, surrounded by the surrounded by the green space and also through the pipe transport through the tower and buildings and uh, our, our plan shows this uh, pipe through diverse areas so it can build or connect and enable communities in the valley and uh, <coughs> Also, our sections, as you can see, there are diverse colors in this building and also in our tower. For our tower, it can be industry, warehouse, and commercial. So it's think about more the uh, commercial of the modules. So people can go here and choose the module they want and through the warehouse and through the pipe transport in the uh, lower level. So it can be use that pipe transport to directly make the modular goods to their own building and also for the color ratio you can see the 
their part can be more residential part, so it can achieve more populations in the future. And uh, in addition, uh, make the uh, original park. We also built some green space in these buildings based on the sunshine. Um, so for that, in these buildings, people can also enjoy some green space here. Uh, and this is always uh, we did. So as you can see, um, there are some uh, beautiful landscape and in the grounds. So we keep more green space in ground, and people can live in these buildings and uh, use the tower to satisfy their needs. And can be built these buildings through the tower and modulars. And also the pipe in the upper level for people can be cycling, walking, and uh, they can satisfy the eco access for everywhere. And then this is our working process. Uh, we use the 3D Max to do our, our, our module and uh, use more modules module building, use the type flow. And uh, by that way, we build our plug in modular city. Thank you.